So in the previous tutorial, we already know how to display the timer while the timer is still counting. Then right now we are going to do something uh, to stop counting. We we want to create the functions, some functions like the uh, under some situation when the timer x less than zero or equal to zero, it will stop counting. And if the object is broken. Then we stop counting. Okay. Uh, so for stop counting when timer is less or equal to zero, it's kind of easy. It's also the level fail the situation. So we simply just set if timer less or equal to zero, and uh, set the timer to zero point zero f because the timer is a floater type. So let's see how it looks like. Clear, hit play. Okay, we need to wait 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, go. Okay, stop here already. That's okay. So right now we're going to do something when object after object's broken, timer stop counting. This is also the level complete situation. So if timer if uh, the first situation is a uh, object destroyed, and also we still have some time, which means the timer is uh, higher than zero. So we put the statement for if object is destroyed. Simply just say destroyed. And we'll put this one in data center as a bool statement. So we create a static variable called destroyed. And uh, the default value is false. Then we will do something in here to stop counting and also create completed menu. That's uh, for the later tutorial. So if a timer still uh, higher than zero and the, the object is already destroyed, we will stop the counting. We'll stop the counting, we need to do something Called uh, enable counting and set to false, and this will be in the data center as well. So, like this one, enable counting. 
enable content initially with set to true. So in here, when the timer, when when the object is already broken, we will set this one to false. And then in here, we will add the statement in here as well, set some condition. So when data center enable counting, it's true. We can stop count the timer. But what uh, when will this happen? This will happen when the HP less than zero or equal to zero. So we copy this one. Uh, sorry. When will the destroy the happen? If this is true, so we simply copy this one under the object HP and put it in here. So when the object's HP less or equal to zero, then we set destroy to true. But here we put like this. Okay. I put the same color in here. And see how it looks like. Okay, no arrows. Let's play. Hit on object. Keep uh, keep reducing the HP. Okay, it's broken. Stop counting. Everything's good. Let's play again. If you keep hitting, keep hitting, the HP keep reducing, and we get a score. The time still counting. If we didn't do anything, and the time is already up, then we failed. But we still can count it, so we need to fix this problem. We put the uh, some debug menu in here. You failed. Then put something in here. You win. So for other function, like uh, we just mentioned, that when we already finish the level or broken the object, we still can keep tapping, with and uh, the score keep adding, and also HP keep reducing. So we don't want that to happen after we already finish the level. So we will create this function in a later tutorial to fix this problem. So now we already know how to stop counting when timer is less or equals to zero and also when the object is broken we will also stop counting as well. Save this one.